Bobby Risky was guided like president in Kirikiri prison. He only spent only three weeks out of six months and received VIP treatment. FIG reports, Nigerians, this is really, you know, uh, getting tougher. Nigerian cross dresser Bobby Risky has found himself at the center of a a big scandal following revelations about his time in Kirikiri prison. Despite being sentenced to six months for Naira abuse in April, it was gathered that Bobiriski spent only three weeks incarcerated before allegedly negotiating his early, re earlier, early release. However, the controversy started on Tuesday when social media influencer Martin Vincent, known as Very very dark man shared a recorded phone conversation in which Bobby Risky confessed to serving he or pre, uh, prison term outside the facility. I don't know if it's he or she I will use. According to, I think he's, he's he because he said he's he. You understand? What he's just doing is he's just a cross dresser, he's a man. He confirmed he's a man, okay? So according to his claims, he reportedly paid about 15 million naira to have the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, the EFCC, to drop money laundering charges against him. FIG exclusively uh, reports that sources familiar with the situation revealed that Bobrisky was taken to Kirikiri uh, custodial center following her sentencing in April, but was released after just three weeks. However, he was officially freed from prison in August. A prison official told FIJ that Bob spent only three weeks here with us in Kirikiri before he or she was transferred to another undisclosed lo location. This was where he spent where he, he spent her time. It was all arranged and money was involved. The source had it. The official reviewed that Bobby Risky was guided like a president until the socialite the socialite secret departure after three weeks. The socialite uh, a secret departure after three weeks, please pardon me. She received VIP treatment throughout her stay. The source continued. She lived in a special cell. The money she claimed to have paid is true. There are no lies about that. Yes, she did play. Okay. Uh, why prison authorities restricted Bobby Risky's interactions with other inmates. This limited the visibility of his inevitable disappearance. There was one instance when a guy was on a video call with his girlfriend and unexpectedly turned the camera to Bobby Risky, and the official recounted this was considered an invasion of her privacy and as a consequence, he was uh, confined to his cell for nearly two months. As I mentioned, she was heavily guided, which minimized such incidents. She was quietly taken away after three weeks, the son said. On Wednesday, Sarah reporters reported that a renowned lawyer and human rights activist, Femi Falana-san, had given a very dark man 24 hours to retreat his offensive and derogatory publication against him of face legal action. In a letter from Falana Legal's counsel, uh, Tai Wu Yi, on Wednesday, the activist was given 24 hours to retreat his statements and issued a public apology. So the controversy stems from very dark man's claim that Falana demanded 10 million naira from Bobby Risky in exchange for removing his name from the record of the EFCC. So, Taiwo characterized Very Dark's man, 
uh, statement as a, a, vic a vicarious wicked and a vicarious wicked and reckless poly designed to tarnish Falana's reputation among you know the public. So he stated emphatically that without any fear of contradiction, Falana has never spoken to Bobby Riske regarding any alleged pardon or any other matter. He emphasized that wife, wife freedom of expression is a constitutional right. It must be exercised responsibly and individuals should not damage another person's reputation through unfounded allegations. So he said, we therefore demand immediate retraction of the offensive and uh, the derogatory publication as well as an apology, okay, as an apology published in all the platforms to which you have cemented it without any justification whatsoever. So guys, this story of Bob, uh, Bobby Risky and um, the saga of Bobby Risky and the EFCC in the prison and everything is getting more interesting. So people are speaking up. So the thing is that let there be a thorough investigation into this because all these have to stop, you understand? All these are what we are talking about, corruption in Nigeria. If Bobby Risky was sentenced to six months in prison, yes, he should do that. He should serve in the prison for six months. You understand? Why the special treatment and all that? People go to prison. People who are even more... I don't want to start start talking about that. But this is really very wrong. But we are not, I'm not trying to say what very dark man said is true until they are proven it is true. But the, the thing is that let the government investigate this case very well. Enough is enough. You understand? Enough is enough. All these things just need to stop. Well, at the drop hand for you, I beg share your thoughts below the comment section. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video. Let it go viral. Thank you and bye for now.